Okay, in this video I'm going to look at an example that's not in the text of a discrete probability distribution. There's not really a lot here. It is a lot of writing, so I went ahead and wrote it out. And this example is how many hours before my car's oil change is done. And this is based off of personal experience, and this is a theoretical, uh, hypothetical probability distribution for the random variable x, which is how many hours it takes for my oil change to be completed. I'm going to round that down. So for example, 45 minutes would be counted as zero hours. Well, I have the, my possible values for k is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then the uh, corresponding probabilities are given here. And now, for a probability distribution, it's discrete if these possible values can be listed out one at a time. That's what it means to be finite or countably infinite. And it's a probability distribution if all of these probabilities are non-negative and they add up to 1. And that's, you can check that on your own if you want to see that these add up to 1. And so what this does is it gives me my possible values and the corresponding probabilities. So for example, if I need to know the probability that x is odd, um, I'm not really sure why you would need to know that, but at this point we're just studying the distributions, figuring out what they mean, what they look like. So uh, mathematicians like us, us tend to maybe think about these kind of weird things, but nobody else does. I would just look at my possible outcomes, look at the ones that are odd, and add up those probabilities. So that would be 1 8 plus 1 over 24 plus 1 over 24, and since 1 8th is um, 3 over 24, I have 5 over 24. Okay, And that's as simple as it is. For a discrete probability distribution, if I want to know the probability that something happens, then I just add up the probability of all those different um, possibilities that are included in that event.